you'll see questions like this, and really this is trying to get at... Do you understand those log laws, right? You remember how you add and subtract and multiply, <laughs> divide? Good morning. But can you use them when it's really like, you don't just get told which ones you need to use. Uh, it's a little bit like the difference between, you know, um, how many of you have built something from Ikea before? Anyone? Really? So, that's not that, okay, all right, hands down. So, you know, in an Ikea, like, box, right, um, you get the instructions out and every single piece that you need is there. Good morning. And they're all labeled and you know, like, the steps are all there. And it's like, okay, this is what I have to do, right? It's all mapped out for you. All the steps are pretty clear, at least you'd hope, right? Even without any words. Assuming you don't put anything backwards. I've done that before. Uh, but, but, that's very different to actually making like a cabinet, right? A cabinet is, okay, I have all of this material and like I have some tools, but I don't even know which ones I'm supposed to use. You can probably put something together, but clearly the second thing is a lot harder than the first thing, right? This is in the second category. You've got all the tools, you've got the numbers at your disposal, but you're not given much direction as to how you should use them to get this result. Okay. So I'm just going to do the first half of it and then we're going to jump into polynomials, which is our real topic for today. Okay. So these are your building blocks here and here. Okay. Who knows what these numbers are? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they're going to be something with lots and lots of decimal garbage on the end, very imprecise numbers. But even though I don't know what they exactly are, I can still work with them and I can combine them in predictable ways. Okay, so let me give you an example. You see how uh, this number over here is going to be um, bigger than this number over here. Right? This is like how long do I take to grow to this versus how long do I take to grow to this. Okay? So therefore, it stands to reason something I could do is have a big number and take away a small number. Do you think that that's reasonable? Big number, take away small number, okay? So I could write something like this. Log 108, take away log 6, okay? Now, at the moment, I'm just kind of feeling my way through the question. I don't have an idea of how to solve this, right? But I know I'm going to have to combine these two in some kind of way, okay? So let's just see if this is going to yield us anything useful. We know log laws. When you subtract logs, what happens to those numbers? In the, on the inside. What do I do with them? I divide. Very good. Subtraction turns into division, right? So my next line would be this. Now, I'm not the greatest at my six times tables, right? Uh, so 108, 108, half of that is 54. But I know how many sixes go on 54. How many sixes go on 54? Good morning. Uh, I think it's nine. I think nine six is going to 54. Anyhow, your calculator can check that. There's twice as many here, right? So there won't be nine six in there. There will be 18 of them, okay? So I have this. Are you okay with that? Is that reasonable? Now, <clears throat> that's not bad. That's like, that's, that's true. It's not either of the answers that I want for okay? Um, I want log three, for instance. That looks like it's an easier target to hit. So. See how I went from here to here, it gave me a smaller log, right? I could do this again, couldn't I? I could take, say, log 18. I can get that in terms of these two, which I know. I could subtract log 6 again. Do you see that? If I subtract, I'm going to do another division. You can probably do this one in your head, right? What's the division going to be when you do 18 divided by 6? It's just going to be 3, right? That's actually the answer that I'm after. Right? So this is me just trying to work out, okay, is there some way I can combine these pieces in order to get to this? And I can. Okay? So now how do I express this in the language of the question? Right? Um, these things here are really just, let's see, this is called B and this is called A. Right? I did B take away A, that gave me this. Right? That wasn't quite where my answer was. I needed to go a little bit further. I needed to take that answer and I needed to subtract A another time. Do you see that? <coughs> what I did? <coughs> Therefore, okay, what I can do is in summary what I've done is I started with B and then I subtracted A twice. That's 2A. Can you see that? See like that? Let's just verify that this actually works, right? That's log 108 take away. 2 log 6. 2 log 6. Okay. Let me see if I'm going to get the same result as what I just uh, mimicked here, right? 2 log 6. I can do another log law here, right? Which one do I have at my disposal now? 
I can, it's the power law, isn't it? That 2 can hop up the top and become 6 squared, which is 36. So log 108, take away log 36. This looks familiar. This is the subtraction, which turns into division, which is the log 3 that I was after. Okay, so now, with my b, take away 2a over here, this is my answer to the first part. Okay, haven't got my answer for the second part yet. Maybe we can dig into it after we do polynomials. But this is the process. This is the process I went through, okay? It wasn't a straight line there, but that's because I didn't know what the straight line was. So I just kind of had to feel my way through. As I made some progress, I was like, oh, look, I've got something meaningful. Now let's translate that in terms of the question, okay? So the reason why, like, I could have just gone here. I could have said, hey, everyone, let's do B takeaway 2A. But there's no obvious reason why you would do that at first, unless you know exactly what you're doing. Most of us are not in that category. We're in this category up here, where you're kind of like, I'm not sure. I'm just going to try things. I'm just going to, um, as they say colloquially, throw things against the wall and see what sticks, right? And some of the things worked, they made some progress, okay? So this is the way I would approach questions like this. You've got your building blocks, just play with them a little bit and see how they can fit together, okay?